Right now I'm at my friend's smoke shop. We're about to go in, look around, and then we're gonna be checking out some cryptocurrencies and we're gonna be giving y'all some knowledge. We don't know everything, but we're just gonna share. Okay, so we just got to my friend's smoke shop, which is called Smoker's Paradise. Drinking some Smoothie King. What's up, boss? Yeah. As you can see, this is the boss and his Burberry. Yeah, you know, we chilling, you got the little Crocs That's on. Got the designer, you stop playing. <laughs> How you doing today, bro? Just chilling, bro. Just chilling. You know, we got the smoke shop. We got Ricky Dewey. We vibing. <laughs> 11.53, you know, it's Tuesday morning. What do you... So how does your days usually go? What I do, I just wake up, bro, to think about life. You know, think about life. <laughs> what do I do? I get my day started. Hop in the shower, feel me? Come up with shop. Mm -hmm. You know, Maryland, Maryland is up to taxes on SIG. You know, the SIG price about to go up. What's any advice? Like business wise. I said you gotta get to it, bro. Don't think about it, bro. Don't overthink. If you overthink it, bro, you might get lazy with it. Yeah. You're not gonna do it. Keep moving silence. Man, Ricky just got a car accident. Yeah, I just got in a car accident, bro. Damn. Yeah. But you're safe. Oh yeah, yeah. You see him. Man. He's he's Bombing. chilling. Living on this super dry, little Nike sweats and the slides. But yeah, if you want any smokers products, you can come here. I'll put the uh, address in my link or down below. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Dang, bro. You about to make me spend my bread. Yeah, you got the Kobe too, you know, RIP Kobe, you ain't got no love about that one. And the Gucci belt. How, how much is the Gucci belt? They took off 50 bucks, so. If you if you watching this video, you got a free 50 bucks off. First person to come get that belt. Yeah. Oh, bro just into the building. What kind of Yeezys you got, bro? I got 700s. Dang. These Yeezys just dropped? Oh, they dropped like two weeks ago. That's hard, bro. This is the man. If you need any shoes, this is the man you need to get. Hit me up. Viper Souls on Instagram. Yeah. So, Those are hard. Yeah, so, yeah. 510? Yeah. Good. What's up, dude? Yo. What you been up to, bro? I don't know, bro. I'm chilling. Just chilling. Oh, yeah, we got Vicky. Yeah, 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 you know, we chilling at Smoke's Paradise Food. Bro, bro, hosting us in his shop yeah, eating here. Take a seat. Take a seat. Yo, let's all sit down. We're about to talk some business real quick. Yeah, yo, let's get so, so, I've been trying to mess with like the stocks and stuff like that and the cryptos. So any advice you have? I mean, it depends on which one you, you want to start off with stocks or crypto. So, let's say I wanted to. Which one do you think you should start off with if you're a beginner? SPY, the SPY. So, it's pretty much like the top 500 companies are in the SPY. Big, the big ones like Facebook, Apple, and a bunch of other companies. So, I don't I don't even know all of them myself. But if the overall market is doing good, then the SPY will go up. And over time, in the long run, the SPY always goes up. So it's a very safe investment for beginners. And if you're, if you're a beginner, I would, I would get into that, like the index funds for stocks. So what if I wanted to use Robinhood and I wanted to like invest in like Apple or like something like that? What do you think about that type of stuff? I mean, those are those are uh, good investments too, like the Fang stocks. Are those more Fangs, risky? Uh, they're. I mean, it depends on when you get into them. Mm -hmm. But overall, the risk. So let's say it's I... not that high investing into those. If you're investing for the long term, if it's if you're if you're investing for like the short term, like a few months or something, which to be honest, that's not really investing. That's trading. I wouldn't really get into that. It's just if you're beginning, you should focus more on the long term. So just put your money and just forget about it. Do you think it's better for the long term run than having yeah. like making some money today and then just taking it making, out? Making money in the short term that requires a lot more, uh, a lot more of your time, and you really have to understand the markets. So it's more of like a savings account, but with a better interest. Yeah, pretty much. All right, I've been messing with like the Robin Hoods and stuff like that. If you were getting into cryptocurrencies, though, I wouldn't uh, go to Robin Hood. Because the thing about Robinhood is when you invest into cryptocurrencies on Robinhood, you don't you don't get access to your uh, or you don't get custody to your crypto. So, for example, if you go on Robinhood and you buy Bitcoin, right? You're not going to be able to transfer that Bitcoin out of Robinhood into like a different wallet. Robinhood has full custody of your Bitcoin, but uh, and you you can buy and sell through Robinhood, but you can't transfer that Bitcoin out of Robinhood. So what apps would I have to use or how, how would I go about it to do that? Uh, well, if you're a beginner in cryptocurrency, I'll choose which exchange they want to purchase their cryptocurrency off from. So I would recommend in America is Coinbase, which 
Most people have heard of that. So from there, just create your account on Coinbase. And then the cryptocurrencies that I would invest into, if I was a beginner, would be probably, obviously, Bitcoin. And then you can invest into Ethereum. And there are a bunch of others. The majority of your portfolio should consist of Bitcoin and Ethereum. <clears throat> and then the other, like, altcoins that you invest into, the profit that you get from those, you pour those into Ethereum and Bitcoin. So Bitcoin and Ethereum, those are like very long holds. And like the other altcoins that you can invest into are like Chainlink, Cardano, like RSR, like those, those other coins, the profit you get, the, you get from those, you transfer those into Bitcoin and Ethereum. They're, they're gonna be here for the long run. For example, if you buy Bitcoin off of uh, Robinhood, they're not gonna give you full custody of that Bitcoin. You're not gonna be able to transfer that Bitcoin from Robinhood to another wallet or to another exchange. But when you purchase off of Coinbase, they give you full custody of all of your cryptocurrencies that you purchase from their exchange. So you can transfer that, uh, whatever crypto it is for like example, if it's Ethereum, you can transfer the Ethereum from Coinbase to any other wallet. There's like a whole, there's a whole bunch of uh, different types of wallets. But for example, there are, there's, this is the most secure type of wallet right here. These, uh, what I mean, this, this, this company is called Ledger Nano X, but this is, this is a hardware uh, wallet. You, you can buy hardware wallets from other companies too, like uh, Treasure. But this is an example of a hardware wallet. These are the most secure. I think it was like 150, Dang. but they have two, they have two models. They have the Nano X, uh -huh. which has Bluetooth capability. And then they also have the Nano S, which uh, doesn't have Bluetooth capability and it has less storage. And that goes for like, I think like 60 or $70. So this is an example of a hardware wallet. You would be able to, if you bought from Coinbase, if you bought Ethereum from Coinbase, you would be able to transfer that onto the hardware wallet. But if you purchase off, if you purchase the Ethereum off of uh, Robinhood, they're not going to let you transfer it. And you were telling me like how basically like some of those things like Robinhood and Coinbase and stuff can get hacked, right? There's a chance that the chances that happen is very slim, but yeah. But I mean, the thing about Robinhood is they ensure the losses you would take All right. if it was hacked with uh, Coinbase. If you have cash on there, if you have like the US dollar, if you have like dollars in uh, Coinbase, that's insured for like up to like a quarter million, I think. But um, the cryptocurrencies is not insured. So if you had Bitcoin on there, oh, I see and it was hacked, saying. then uh, you just lose that Bitcoin. Dang, I That's see what, what you're I think, saying. unless they changed it. All right. Then. I don't think they did. So basically, this is kind of like a safe. Yeah, it's your own personal uh, wallet. No one else has access to this. No one else can hack into it. So I like go, and then I'd buy Ethereum on Coinbase, and then where would I go from there? If I'm trying to if transfer, you wanted to transfer it, it to yeah, that wallet. Yeah. I mean, when once you go to the app, I can show you. So I'm just gonna show you how you would uh, transfer a cryptocurrency from Coinbase onto the hardware wallet. I'm not gonna go through the whole process, but I'll show you oh, kind of like overall. Do... So all you would do just, is that, what is that? This is Ethereum right here. It was like around like 400, like about like a few months ago. You just go right here, press that, go to send. And then you could just send, let's just say a hundred dollars with Ethereum. I'm not gonna actually send it cause I don't have my uh, hardware wallet's address. But all you would do is you would get the address. You'd get your hardware wallet's address. It has, it has, there's different addresses for uh, different cryptocurrencies. So Ethereum has a different address. Bitcoin has a different address. And so all the cryptocurrencies have their own addresses. So then if you were to transfer from Coinbase to your hardware wallet, you would take your hardware wallet's Ethereum address and then you would just paste it right here. I don't have the address with me, so I'm just giving you an example. You just paste it right here, and then you just send it. And then it's there. Yeah. You were telling me how there was like one where it was like at a penny, but they were expecting it to go up to a dollar. Are you talking about, uh, I think you're talking about RSR. I think that's what it was you told I mean, me it about. Wasn't at, it was at like two cents. At the, at, at the time we were uh, speaking about it. This is the most secure way you can restore your crypto. This is one of the most secure ways. So all the crypto that you purchase from different exchanges, you'll be able to transfer it and it'll all be just being like one portfolio, one wallet. All right, so right now we're gonna unbox the Ledger and Nano X for you guys. Just a little message, this is how I'm feeling. Yeah, I changed the world.
gotta change how everything is. Pray, read your Bible, you know. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Um, if you're thinking of investing into like cryptos or stocks or anything, the best one you're probably gonna wanna start with is stocks just to learn it. Long-term investment is better, like you said. And then um, if you're really trying to get into more lucrative ones, cryptocurrency is where it's gonna be. And not only just cryptos, currencies, but you're gonna wanna do it. You're probably gonna wanna get a ledger. It's a little windy. It's basically some type of secure wallet. And you can start going on there and um, getting transferring different type of cryptos to that. Uh, one thing I recommend that my friend told me is Coin Gecko. So yeah, I would go on Coin Gecko, and then you'll see like a list of all the different type of cryptocurrencies and different ones that you're not gonna even find on Coinbase, Robinhood, and yeah, it gets deep because some of them anybody could really start one. So you gotta really make sure you know what you're doing, not just because it's cheap, you go for it or something like that. But yeah, we'll see y'all soon on the next video and we'll try to bring you some more knowledge. And yeah, have a blessed day. All praise to the most high, all praise to Jesus. See y'all soon.